Hello everyone, welcome to Tesca Technologies. My name is Vishesh Dave, and today we are going to discuss about 8 cross 1 multiplexer and demultiplexer. Its order code is 38700. In this video, we are going to discuss about its component, its application, and principle of working. So, multiplexer and demultiplexer trainer has been designed specifically for the study of 8 to 1 line multiplexer and 1 to 8 line demultiplexer. This circuit is for multiplexer and this is for demultiplexer. In this, we have to make connections for initially multiplexer and then we'll move forward to demultiplexer. In multiplexer circuit, we have uh, 8 input lines from it varies from D0 till D7 and we have 3 selection lines and then we have input sections like logics from I0 to I10. The, from I0 to I7 it will connect from the input section from D0 to D7 and then we will have to make a connection between these I8, 9, I9 and I10 with the selection line from S0 to S2. So now we will come to our first experiment. The first experiment is all about the study and verification of the truth table of 8 to 1 line multiplexer. So initially we have to make the connection. Firstly, we will make connections from input sections to all the logic from D0 to I0, then D1 to I1, from D2 to I2, and just like this we will have to make connection from D section to I sections till D7 to I7. As you can see, we are using black patch codes. Okay, so the connection between the I section and D section is done. Now we have to make a connection between the left inputs from the selection lines from I8 to S2 from S1 to I9 and lastly from S0 to I10 and we have to connect output from the O0 this is the connection the connection is done now we will move forward to the verification of two table section after successful completion of the connections we will move forward to verify the two table this is the two table it will come with your trainer kit it is called manual you can see so now we will move forward to do the experiment you have to make sure that the power is getting on you have to toggle the switch on so for i0 it will get the output reflected for i1 this and this you have to get higher for i2 this and this it will get the output reflected for i3 this and this for i4 this for i5 this and this respectively for i6 this and this the LED will glow and for the last output for i7 we have to get high all the selection lines yes so this is the complete experiment of multiplexer 8 cross 1 now we will 
move forward to demultiplex one cross eight. After the completion of multiplexer, we will come to demultiplexer circuit. As you can see, this is the demultiplexer section. We'll have to make connections. We'll make connection. Initially, we have to make to connect Y zero to O zero. O1 to Y1 O2 Y2 and respectively Y3 to O3 Y4 to O4 Wi Fi, Wi Fi, and the left ones from Wi six to Wi six. Now after this, we have to connect the selection lines from I bits. From S one to I zero, I one to S one, and I two to S zero. This is the connection we made. The connection between the input bits and the selection lines. and then we connect the y0 section to output section of o0 to o7 after the completion of connection we'll move forward to perform the experiment firstly we have to check or to verify the truth table this is the truth table we have these as the inputs and these as the outputs inputs are s2 s1 and s0 e will always be zero and we have outputs from y0 to y7 as you can see l and h these are basically h h defines for high and l defines for low so now we'll firstly we have to toggle the switch this on so for zero you can see y will always be zero this is you can see y will always be zero for one this is one the one will not reflect For two, two is not reflecting. For three, three is not reflecting. For four, the four will will not glow, will dim. For five, you can see it will stop glowing. For six, you can see the sixth will stop glowing. In last for seven, it will stop glowing. So this is both multiplexer and demultiplexer circuits. We verified and successfully checked all the truth tables. It is properly connected, and we have regularly outputs glowing. And then for multiplexer, the LED will will glow, and for demultiplexer, the LEDs will dim. As per from inputs. I zero to I seven. So after the completion of connections, we'll move forward to verify and to perform the experiment. We have to verify the truth table. This is the truth table. As you can see, uh, these are the inputs and these are the outputs. Input starts from S two, S one, and S zero. The E section will always be zero. You can see it will always be zero. And after this, these are the outputs from Y zero to Y seven. We have to verify all these, and you can see these H and L words. H basically defines for high, and L basically defines for low. So it may in dim multiplexer case, uh, for one the LED will not glow of one, and as per respectively for two the two will not glow, for three the three will not glow. Okay, so we'll start. Firstly, we have to make the power switch on. 
as you can see uh, the zero section is not glowing the zero led is not glowing for one the one will stop glowing it is in demultiplexer case for two two will stop glowing for three three will stop glowing for four fourth one will stop glowing for fifth the fifth one will stop glowing for sixth the sixth one will stop glowing and lastly we have seven so we have to make this up and the seven will stop glowing so this is how the demultiplexer circuit is done and we have actually verified all the truth tables and it is successfully completed so that's all the demonstration from my side if you have any queries related to this trainer kit you can visit tesca global website the link is in the description or for more information you can go through the lab manual thanks for watching this video if you like it please like share and subscribe our channel